Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I have a brand new free Stinger Transition template for you. Everyone who has After Effects can download this from gumroad.com slash level and then customize it within a second. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to customize it and make it your own. So this is the basics of the animation. So you see uh, your logo comes in. So this is a logo that you can replace with your own logo. But before we start, this portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for everything customizable for live streamers and content creators. They have everything that you can possibly think of customizing from your profile picture, your banner, your offline image, your overlays, your alerts, your emotes, your subscriber badges, and everything else. Okay, let's say you're trying to make sub badges. You can either check out the pre-made ones, and there's a lot of them, or create your own using their badge maker. Just pick a style you like. Let's go with that first one. You can add icons, numbers, characters, whatever you prefer. Let's add a smiley, for example. Boom, let's select the color. Let's go with yellow. It's like the second one. Add a hat. And do the same thing until you have all the badges you desire. Look at all the icons available. You have the characters and all the numbers. They also have a channel trailer maker, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash gal level. That's o w n 3 dgg slash gal level. And of course, there are the colors that you can also replace. I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you've downloaded the file from gumroad.com slash gal level, you're going to open it in Adobe After Effects and you're going to have two compositions. As you can see here, we have main stinger. That's the main thing that we're going to end up exporting at the end. And then we have logo. So first thing you're going to do is open up your logo right here. I have like my logo plus a background. You don't really need that. I just put it in here uh, just to have more visibility but you can keep it if you want to keep it or if you want to add another shape it doesn't matter let's say that you have your own logo that you want to add all right so i made this crappy logo in a couple seconds boom so you have that logo i'm going to turn off the i'm actually going to delete the other one so this is your logo as long as your logo fits in that composition the logo composition as long as it fits here and it doesn't go over it then your animation will work just fine I'm going to press S to scale it up a little bit just to make it fill that frame a little bit more so it looks better. Again, you can take away the shape if you don't like it. I'm going to keep it in. I kind of like it. And let's go back to our main stinger. Now we have a different logo. We have different colors. Obviously, the purple doesn't have its place here. So what are we going to do? We're going to select that purple. This is a solid layer. That means that you need to go to solid. Well, you can go to layer solid settings or control shift y and now you can choose the color that you want i suggest going here picking the color picker and then selecting uh, one of the colors from your logo i like this one click ok boom uh, second one i'm gonna press control shift y and again i'm gonna pick one of the main colors of my logo all right and now as you can see, the whole thing was changed to fit that specific logo. So I'm going to do a RAM preview real fast. And here it is. OK, now when it comes to the specifics, before we even export it and all of that, just know that this whole thing is going to be three seconds long and the transition point is at one second. That means that's when the whole uh, frame is filled. So we have three colors in total. We have those colors, the first the first part of the transition, we have that bright color, which is the second part of the transition of the background. And then we have all those shape layers. Now, those are shape layers. So what you need to do is you can select them all by holding shift, go to the middle wh where they appear. The shape layers are actually those circles here. And if you want to change them, that's going to be up top here at stroke. You can just click and then pick whatever color you want. Let's say that we want this to be kind of like that gray here. Uh, now it's like that, or you can make it completely white. Boom, that's also possible. All right, if it's running kind of slow on your system, uh, deactivate motion blur while you're editing it. So that way it goes way faster now, but then remember to reactivate it before you export it. All right, let's say that I like what I'm seeing. Actually, I don't like what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and put that back into a darker color. Okay, that dark blue, that looks cool. How do you go ahead and export it now, right? So it has that transparent background in the beginning and at the end. I'm gonna go to composition. I'm gonna click 
add to render queue output mode i'm gonna put i'm gonna click on lossless and then i'm gonna select quicktime now i know there are multiple ways of exporting um you know transparent video uh format option you're gonna make sure that video codec is on animation click ok all right and then this is the important part video output you want channels to be rgb plus alpha alpha is basically the transparency then we're going to turn off audio and we're done click ok click on the output to select where you want to export it click save and then click render now i have quicktime player if you don't have quicktime player don't worry about it just put it in your broadcasting software and you should be good super clean uh, and now let's add it to Streamlabs OBS for example all right okay we are in Streamlabs OBS we're gonna add the transition in order to do that you're gonna have to go on top of your scenes list and click on that little cogwheel edit scene transition uh, on your global transition you're gonna click on that little pencil that signifies edit uh you're gonna click you're gonna make sure you select stinger you're gonna find that transition that you just exported i don't know where it is on your computer you're the one who just exported it boom with the name that you gave it remember that i said that the whole thing was three seconds the transition point was 1000 it is right here okay boom click done and now once you click between scenes you're gonna have your transition appear that smoothly okay smooth okay how do i do this in obs studio so for obs studio you're gonna come here where it says scene transition you're gonna add a new transition you're gonna click stinger you're gonna click okay you're gonna go ahead and find the file that you just exported i don't know where it is on your computer you're the one who exported it find your file boom you found it uh transition point is what 1000 milliseconds uh, and that's pretty much it you click ok and now when you switch from scene to scene it should appear i don't have my preview enabled but i'm guessing it's working let me enable the preview real quick oh look at that it's working probably looks weird on your screen now anyways that's how you do it go get the transition right now at gumroad.com slash gal level if you have any questions there will be a discord link in the description also read the description of the product before downloading it so that you understand everything that you are getting yourself into do that in real life too when you're buying products at the grocery store you read what's on the label right let's do this <laughs> anyways thank you for watching i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out